Red Burke has opened a brand new restaurant on 48th and Lex called Park Avenue Kitchen, and there's a little or big something for everyone. It is so nice to see you. I mean, you've had a very busy year, but this is the first one in Manhattan in a long time. Yep, yeah, but to a decade. Yeah, we're excited to have you back. Obviously, you never really left, but a brand new restaurant. What made you want to open this one, this concept? Well, Tell me about you it. You know, this concept, the building approached me, and they want to do something for both the workers and the uh, and people in the building, which is the grab-and-go section on the other side. And this is the David, uh, the park having the kitchen by David Burke, which is a fine dining restaurant. And we share the prep kitchen and the other lines are separate. The grab-and-go affords us a lot of fun. And the restaurant, it's nice to be back in New York and be able to uh, update our uh, selections in the, f in the fine dining area. Have you brought back any of the classics, like the clothespin bacon? Are we? Do we have updates and new dishes? What, what we are we have, doing? Uh, we have the clothesline bacon. We have to, or someone will shoot me. We have the lobster dumplings, the pretzel crab cake, pastrami salmon. Uh, All right, I'm hungry. Let's talk through this. Lots of big, well, that's what we expect from you. Yeah. Big, fun, delicious dishes. Big, fun, delicious. There's an appetizer. It's in a cla one of my classics from the River Cafe, pastrami salmon. Uh -huh. uh, it has avocado, artichokes, and a rye waffle, lobster dumplings with miso, coconut basmati rice with chickpeas in it. So this is an Indian-style dish. It's butter chicken, the tikka masala sauce with black sea bass. Pork chop, clam, Portuguese style with clams and chorizo. And we have SpaghettiOs in there. Yeah, I was going to ask, are those SpaghettiOs? They're not canned SpaghettiOs, but they're artisanal spaghetti circles. My heart always tells me that I should be vegan, but my, nothing yeah. else does. Because <laughs> it's so good. And we have the sweet Melissa. This is a porterhouse dry-aged prime with the angry crab leg. So I had these custom made for my uh, daughter-in-law and my son's uh, rehearsal dinner. And this is one of the first restaurants we're using this at. It's, uh, I mean, your presentation is always amazing. When that came out, my jaw hit the table. Yeah. I mean, this as well. So these are two different versions of well, this is Yeah, they're both for two, a porthouse for two. And we might put a whole lobster on there too. Again, we're just finding our footing. Look at this master at work. Pepper. That is so good. We have two different desserts. They're garnished similar. One is like Times Square, one's like Disney, but Disney is Times Square now. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this here is a chocolate, triple chocolate mousse cake called the Tiny Dancer for various reasons, for obvious reasons, sorry. This here is called Not So Humble Pie. It's key lime pie. Don't snooze on the strawberry with the key lime pie, that's insane. Well, Chef, it is always great to see you. Congratulations on the opening. I can't wait to come back.